Hey my loves, welcome back to my channel. My name is Glow with Gia, for those of you who don't know. I'm a full-time digital marketer and in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how you can connect your domain and private email to your get response. Now, for those of you who are completely new to this, a domain isn't 100% necessary because most of these platforms like get response will actually provide their own. Get response, for example, has their own domain, which ends in .great. So if you had a free keto diet, it would be like free keto diet.great. Obviously it's not a terrible thing, but it definitely does help if your landing page ends in .com. It just makes it look a lot more professional. The private email on the other hand is absolutely necessary. Now, for those of you who don't know, get response will automatically connect like the sender's email as your email that you signed up with so it might be i don't know for me it's like glowgia at gmail.com now that's not ideal now the problem with this is that if you try and send out any newsletters or emails through get response that are connected to your actual email and you are the sender and your gmail or yahoo whatever it is that you're using is the sender it will more than likely end up in your subscriber's junk mail. Now that's definitely not something that we want. That's a huge waste of time. You don't want to spend all of this effort and time into designing these beautiful emails, but then they just don't end up in the right place. They don't end up being seen by the people that are meant to see it. What I use is Get Response and Namecheap. So what I've actually gone and done is I've bought a whole new domain and I've also made a whole new Get Response account. So I'm going to be starting from scratch along with you guys. For those of you who don't have Get Response or Namecheap yet, I've actually got the two links down in my description. With my links in the description, description you'll be able to get your free get response account where you'll be allowed up to 500 contacts for free completely free and you'll be allowed to use all of the features and with the link for namecheap you'll also be able to find really really good prices on the domains that you might be interested in or you might be looking for so yeah make sure you go ahead and check those two links down in my description i know you guys are probably tired of hearing me talk now so i'm going to jump straight into the first step so for this part what we're going to do is we're actually going to connect the domain first of all so what we're going to do is we're going to head to get response as you can see i've made a completely new account just to show you guys let's say we're going to make a landing page you guys are probably already going to have your landing pages pre-made so yeah i'm just going to make a quick template um i'm not even going to edit it this one's just going to be literally like a little tester landing page so you guys can see if you guys haven't made your landing pages yet i'm going to leave a link down in the description for my fiverr i actually design custom landing pages for whatever niche you may need so yeah head down in the description there's a little link that says glow of geo fiverr and you can go ahead and shoot me a message on fiverr i'll be sure to respond within a couple hours at most just going to make a quick change we're going to go into the next step so let's just imagine that was a pre-made landing page for whatever it is that you're doing so like i said earlier as you can see the get response subdomain that they give you is great.com so obviously you can get subscribe me now get response pages.com that doesn't look great i'm gonna go ahead and add the new domain so what we're gonna do um as you can see on name cheap i've actually created one called glowgeo.shop so the dot is already in the middle right there i'm gonna add the domain now they can't add that to my landing page yet because it's not actually connected so they're saying that it's not active yet they're verifying the dns records there's nothing to verify because we haven't started anything so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and change the dns settings so we're going to click on here so as you can see you're going to scroll down from the change the dns settings and in the first step you're going to log into the control panel and stuff like that but you see this little code right here these two codes these are the ones that we're going to be entering into our Namecheap just to verify everything. So what you're going to do is obviously you're going to head to Namecheap and what you're going to do is you're going to head to Manage. So what we've done is we've gone into the Domain section. We don't need to touch anything else. As you can see, this is the Name Server. So you're going to scroll all the way down until you see Name Server. They've basically put in the Namecheap basic DNS. So what we're going to do is we're going to head down to Custom DNS. And as you can see, there's these two slots where you're going to go ahead and copy and paste the codes. My memory is not the best so i literally have to go back in instead of typing it up but yeah we're just going to go ahead and copy both of these now obviously like i said there's already like the instructions on how to do it on get response but i know some people are visual learners when i read all of that it was complete gibberish to me so the way that i actually learned it a while ago was from literally just watching a youtube video and doing a tutorial so hopefully this is going to help you guys but yeah we're going to go ahead and save and that's it as you can see it might take up to 48 hours to take effect yeah it can take up to 24 hours it says 24 hours on here 
because like I said I do set up landing pages and connect domains for a living basically but yeah some people have noticed that it will take a full 48 hours so yeah if you don't see your name show up on the domain don't panic within the first 24 hours sometimes it will take a little bit longer so yeah give it 48 hours instead of 24 like get responses so yeah we've gone and finished that all we have to do is click save now for those of you who only came here to see how to set up the domain I hope you guys enjoyed the video so far you can go ahead and click off if you want to continue watching that'd be great as well um but for those of you who came here on how to set up the private email we're going to go ahead and go through that now so so yeah now that we're on namecheap what we're going to do is we're going to go down into the private email so we're going to click on manage because we haven't actually set up any mailboxes so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and create a mailbox now you can see the little yellow tab we're going to go ahead and click that and my one is going to be called contact at glowofgeo.shop so anytime i send out an email the email is going to be contact at glowofgeo.shop if you want to change it to support at glowofgeo.shop or whatever it is those are the two words that i normally put at the front so it looks a lot more professional that's what i've noticed a lot of businesses do so it's just going to say contact at glowofgeo.shop i'm going to set my password obviously i'm not going to tell you guys what that is and yeah perfect so we're going to save changes and our mailbox is now set up so what we're going to do is we're going to open the webmail so i'm going to open it in a new tab the site that is connected to is private email for those of you who might not be able to remember so yeah so yeah we're just logging into our private email now this is our brand new private email clearly we don't have any emails yet but yeah what we're gonna do because we're now logged into that is we're gonna head back to get response and we're going to manage our account and you're gonna go into email addresses this is pretty easy all you have to do is just add an email so it's basically the same as when you sign up for any website it's going to ask you to verify it by going into the actual email that you connected and just click on a link now that we're on here what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and add the email so i'm going to add the name as glow of geo this is how it's going to show up in people's newsletter it just says glow of geo instead of the email and then we're going to put in the email that we just got so i'm going to go ahead and add the address and like i said we're going to wait for the confirmation email we're just going to go back into our mailbox and wait for that to arrive perfect there we go so yeah we're just going to go ahead and click the confirm button so yeah we've clicked on the confirm button we've verified everything so what we're going to do is we're going to head back and as you can see it's been authenticated so we're going to set this as our default email now let me show you guys uh, we're gonna go ahead and create a, a newsletter so i can show you so as you guys can see if i go to send out any newsletters now the actual from and reply to email is contact at glowgeo.shop if you wanted to go ahead and change that at any point you can go ahead and add any of the other ones but yeah very happy with this but yeah that's literally all there is to it now you can go ahead and send out your emails and be confident that it's not going to end up in your subscribers junk mail just because of your email if you guys would like me to make a separate video full of tips on how to make sure that you don't end up in your subscribers junk mail make sure that you go ahead and let me know in the comments so i can get on that now if you've managed to go ahead and set up your private email and your domain because of this video please go ahead and leave a like and don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more from me i'm going to be dropping so many more gems on this account so yeah make sure that you're subscribed and i'll catch you guys in the next one